Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashia, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, They're Coming for Your Kids. Lord, will you are edified, my source, SFGMC TV. And as you can see, this is a message from the fill in the blank performed by the as you can see invert your children learn to love learn to vogue face your fate we'll convert your children someone's gotta teach them not to hate enough said This is Isaiah 5 and 20. You know what? Let's start at Job 5 and 12. Job 5 and 12. He, referring to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, disappoint the devices of the crafty. And as you can see, this agenda is a device of the crafty. The crafty is referring to the nobility of Edom. They control this system, all right? They give the objectives, all right? So that their hands, meaning might, cannot perform their enterprise. Enterprise means their success, which is the new world order. So this agenda is an objective of the new world world order Isaiah 5 and 20 woe unto them that call evil good all right and this agenda is calling evil good and good evil that put darkness for light this agenda is placing darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet. This agenda is putting bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right. Because what is the good? The doctrine within the Holy Scriptures. What is the light? The doctrine within the Holy Scriptures. And what is sweet? The doctrine within the Holy Scriptures. Leviticus 18 and 22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. And this is coming from the law. And what did Isaiah 5 and 20 say? Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. So when you push this agenda, and even when you say, hey, as long as they do what they do and keep me out of it. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. You are saying that the good is evil. All right. Based on your belief system. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Genesis 1 and 27. So the Allahayim created man in his own image. In the image of the Most High created he him. Okay. Anyway, let me read it verbatim. Genesis 1 and 27. So the Most High created man in his own image. In the image of the Most High created he him. Male and female created he them. And that's the point. And, of course, when you analyze God in the Hebrew, it's Allahayim. And when you break down this concept, Yahweh Shai and the elected angels created everything we see and don't see from the blueprint of of Yahweh, okay? Romans 
one in 25. Let's start at verse 26. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. All right. So no longer dealing with women. Burn in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense, meaning payback, of their error which was met. All right? Error which was met, meaning what? Their actions. All right? And so because of these actions, the recompense is what? These deadly diseases these individuals receive. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, the hand of the wicked, beginning with the nobility of Edom, trickling down to their lesser counterparts within the nation of Edom. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? And that's literal. But the point is that the nobility of Edom controlled this system. Why? Because Yahweh through Yahweh Shai gave them a kingdom. This is Ecclesiasticus, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. All right? And this will happen in the kingdom of heaven. All right? And we had a prior example, such as King Solomon and such as King David. All right? However, they were basically in the flesh, and they went off. But when Yahweh shall returns, okay, a wise judge will instruct his people who are the Israelites, beginning with the elect, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. All right? So all um, um, our government will be um, enforcing the law, statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. What manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And this shows a lot about the nobility of Edom, how they get down and what their interests are, okay? Deuteronomy 32 and 32. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Whose vine? The nobility of Edom. Vine meaning what? Their philosophies. Their philosophies come from Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? Or some of their philosophies come from Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know what Sodom and Gomorrah was all about. All right? Pushing two men being together. Pushing two women being together. All right? So, easy ease doctrine comes from concepts of Sodom and Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. All right? And if you think about it, you can equate the grapes as well as with the people. All right? Because what this doctrine does is it brainwashes, it poisons the people. 
All right. So even now you have our people who are actually heterosexual, but they are saying, you know what? As long as they stay on the other side of that fence, all right, it doesn't matter to me. They are brainwashed based on the concept and the agenda of the nobility of Edom. Lord, will you are edified? They're coming for your kids. Shalom.